What is going on guys, Views Ty Joe at a brand new video today, it's a bit of a different video from me today, uh, basically a tutorial today showing you how to get F1 Manager, the great F1 Manager working in Windows 10. Now I've been trying to do this for over a year and what persuaded me to try and do this again and try and, uh, you know, uh, what's the word, try and be resilient with trying to get this to work on Windows 10 was actually um, installing the movies the other day, which is another great game developed by Lionhead Studios. And I watched this video, I can't remember who it was who made it but I might put the name in the description if I remember and basically he said to go to this website and they've got like no CD files etc etc and I got that game working so I tried the same with F4 manager and actually got it working which is brilliant the only trouble is it's a little bit laggy but which I will explain a bit later in the video I kind of disclaim before we start though with the tutorials how to get this working there are a few dodgy files, if you'd like to call it that, that are involved in this game and, and getting it to work. Uh, the only real dodgy file is from a website called Game Copy World, which means I've got to download an .exe file, which eh, technically is a little bit dodgy, if you'd like to call it that. But um, really, you know, it's it's not really illegal in such a sense because it's not losing EA profit anymore, if that makes any sense. Um, because, you know, at the end of the day, you've bought the game and you just can't get it working. And it's the only way you can really get it working. So um, put the game into your, uh, your CD, your CD drive, DVD drive, or whatever. Um, but the first thing is, do not auto-run the game. Uh, you'll have, obviously, your PC and it will look a little bit different to mine but just double click on F1 Manager 2000 or whatever the CD is actually don't double click just click open there we go so what you want to do then is don't auto run don't do anything yet just go to the application file that's set up and uh, run that as an ad 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 admin I can't speak and uh, just click yes and then you can set up the game I've, I've already set up the game so there's no need to do that but go and set up the game very quickly in whatever language and all that sort of stuff. It's not really uh, much explaining to do about that. Then come back to the video. Okay, so once you've set up the game, do not auto run, do not do anything. You'll just have the F1 manager in your um, in your area, like in the, what's it called? In the desktop. I'm completely going blank. Um, so what you want to do now is go to the description of the video. There's actually a link to a website called Game Copy World. I've already got it open. And basically, this is um, a EXE file to get the game working. So what you need to do is go to this link. There's a few adverts on it but just click on the blue icon and uh, any of the mirrors it doesn't it doesn't matter um, which mirror you go for um, you have to go past an advert and there's a few adverts in it, it can be a bit annoying but uh, this will not take long so what you've just got to do is wait for five, five seconds and then you can continue skip your advertisement and then it's just a simple direct link just click direct link I think you can use alternate uh, alternate links but it doesn't matter then download F1 manager exe so once you've done that you need WinRAR or a zip well, whatever a zip thing um, and then what you want to do is put it into now I'm gonna put not gonna put mine in a desktop I'm gonna put it in documents because obviously the F1 manager games in the desktop and just to make sure you're distinguishing the correct file put it in your documents so there's F1 manager in your documents. So what you want to do now is uh, replace the original file in the program files. So cut or copy your F1 manager file from documents that you've just downloaded. Make sure it's that one you've just downloaded. Um, and then go to program files. I think it's x86 uh, for me. EA Sports, F1 manager. And then copy and paste it. Um, it'll ask you to replace the file. I'm not going to replace the file because I've already done it and don't want to risk uh, damaging my game. Um, and once that's replaced, you're pretty much done. But you've just got to do a few more things first. So the application file, just go to properties on that file and go to compatibility. Now this is already ticked for me, but it probably won't be. First thing you need to do is make sure you've ticked to run the program as an administrator. Um, second thing you need to do is run the program in compatibility mode. Now this is something I'm still trying to fix. I only got the game working yesterday. Um, I first tried to run it in compatibility mode for Windows 7. Um, it's all fine apart from the race situation. It's incredibly laggy. Um, with Vista it's still laggy, but not as much. Um, but yeah, the game should work then. The game should work. Um, if it says that you need d3drm.dll, go to the second link in the description, which is, I don't want that advert, thank you very much, um, the d3drm.dll file. Um, you don't need to download any, you know, uh, uh, paid for stuff. All you need to do is just download the DLL file, download it, put it in your area, um, unzip it like you did with the uh, previous file, and just uh, go away WinRAR. Um, just pop that into, I'm going to pop that into documents once again. Um, and documents, bum, 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 bum. where are we? Uh, ah, D3 DRM DLL. So just copy that once again to the same place where you put the application file into your F1 Manager. Copy and paste that into your file. 
Now that should work, that should work for your game. If it doesn't, let me know in the comments and I'll help you as much as possible. But I'm really happy I've got this amazing game working again. Um, thank you so much for watching. If this has helped you, that's fantastic because it's took me so long to get this working. I'll definitely have a few hours on it today. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.